India to ratify COP21 Paris Agreement on Climate Change tomorrow. Can India find reasons to vary the negotiating table of Paris Treaty after ratification? After ratifying the Paris Agreement, how difficult it would be to achieve major deliverables for India? Explain some of the key aspects of the COP21 Paris Agreement such as adaptation, mitigation, differentiation, nationally determined contributions and Green Climate Fund. GS Paper 3, Conservation, Environmental Impact Assessment What is the context about? Prime Minister Narendra Modi announced that India will ratify the COP21 Paris Agreement on Climate Change, with the birth anniversary of India's independence leader Mohandas Gandhi, who believed in a minimum carbon footprint. The Paris Agreement is an international agreement within the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change UNFC, and has been ratified by 61 countries till now. As many as 191 countries had inked the agreement till the convention closed on December 12, 2015. India had not ratified it yet as it sought greater flexibility for its industrial and economic growth plans. Can India find reasons to vary the negotiating table of Paris Treaty after ratification? Too much focus on incremental pollution by developing countries shifts the public attention towards the historical damage done by the developed countries during their years of rapid economic growth. The per capita carbon footprint of India is still very low by global standards. India needs coal as part of its energy mix right now, until new technologies emerge. In case the commitments from the developed world on providing finance and technology to developing countries do not come through, a window will always be open for India to rethink its ratification or targets. After ratifying the Paris Agreement, how difficult it would be to achieve major deliverables for India. India's major deliverables will not be easily achieved and will require earnest efforts. India will have to reduce the greenhouse gas emissions by 33-35% from the levels on 2005. This goal has to be achieved by 2030. Another tough commitment is reduction in emission intensity targets. To achieve that, India will also need a 175 gigawatt power production capacity from renewable energy sources by 2025. The most important commitment will be a massive increase in green cover. India will need to increase the forest cover by 5 million hectares and also improve the quality of green cover of an equal measure. This will be used to achieve the targeted absorption of 2.53 tons of carbon from the atmosphere. Explain some of the key aspects of the COP21 Paris Agreement such as adaptation, mitigation, differentiation, nationally determined contributions and Green Climate Fund. Adaptation Adaptation deals with the steps a country needs to take to reduce the impact of climate change which include building sea walls to tackle sea level rise, mass plantation of green cover et al. Mitigation Mitigation simply outlines the policies for reduction in the emission of greenhouse gases. Steps encouraged are development of renewable energy sources and reduction in use of fossil fuels. Differentiation Differentiation deals with the framework convention's principle of CBDRRC, common but differentiated responsibility and respective capabilities. It deals with the collective nature of the effort needed to tackle climate change while considering factors like capabilities of each country and their historic responsibility. Nationally Determined Contributions Under the NDC, countries are supposed to submit their national greenhouse gas emission reduction measures till 2025 extending till 2030. 
a stock take in 2023 will study the contributions plans and till then the contributions will be reviewed in a manner that individual partner countries can increase their ambition for contribution to assist the development of developing countries. After the global stock take in 2023, the countries will meet every five years for the climate summits. Green Climate Fund A Green Climate Fund is part of the agreement. This fund will work to reduce greenhouse gas emissions from developing countries and was a key non-starter for India. Policy circles demanded review of the text so that India's development graph is not impeded in any way while it commits to reducing its carbon footprint on the environment. Also, the agreement will require developed countries to collectively contribute $100 billion for assisting developing countries. Half of the amount will go as assistance and the other will be contributed for mitigation efforts.